You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Hit the Floor After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Hit the Floor After Show. Uh. Oh, we got low volume today. Okay. I mean, you have to pump Beyonce. Right? Well, yeah. Right? Yeah. Welcome, Hit the Floor fans, to Hollywood, California, the AfterBuzz TV studios. I'm your host, Ali Kona Bradford. And first and foremost, I want to welcome back Mr. Hey. Mark Mo- Rodriguez. Oh, thank you very yeah. much. It's good to be back. Good to have you back. And then next to you is this very handsome Man. face, brand new to our show, but not brand new to AfterBuzz TV, Mr. Jason J. Carter. AfterBuzzers, how you doing? The yes, man. yes, so good to be in here hit the floor that's right going down now i really want to start by apologizing first and i'm going to blame mark it's all mark's fault um no i mentioned that taylor was going to come by and unfortunately she could not make it tonight but we're doing our best to get more guests in so have no fear hit the floor we'll be here hey Hey, i just rhymed yeah anything better is if you rhyme (laughs) i'm changing careers guys (laughs) you know you're you're a rap stress i am i am Uh, my oh, oh wow. he's fired. Okay. All right, so let's kick off the show. I want to talk about Lionel and Pete first because Lionel. Lionel. First Lionel. of all, Pete gets around. Yeah, I Pete's, know. Pete's, I, Pete's, I mean, I said it before, but Pete is the man. And now I'm thinking Pete's a little bit of a slut. Just it's okay. I mean, you know, in your in your middle middle age, sluttiness is sexy. And I mean, come on, you guys at home know that, that your coach was sexy growing up. You know what I'm saying? This so is that's true. Right. This and is true. Li- and Lionel is sexy. And man, but for the record, hit the floor, makeup artist. You guys have Lionel snatched for the gosh. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing we learned for sure, it's that you know, champagne. It's not just champagne. No, it's, it's never just it's champagne. No, it's, it's, it's a champagne. It's a champagne featuring the roof. But okay, wait. First of all, what was she doing? Because at first it seemed like she was so desperate for pete and then they were gonna get divorced but then he decided to sleep with her now he might want to be with her they spend time at the pool well you know and then she drugged him right well it's that reminiscing you know it's like um it's like you 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 know the dogs peeing on the trees and stuff like that she's just coming back to her her property and you know it's comfortable i was wondering where you're going (laughs) (laughs) it, it feels good you know they have history you know and she's sexy and he's a man so i mean he's not getting it from raquel at the moment sure ain't so not getting Lionel, it from Sloan. From no, Sloan's definitely not putting out. <laughs> she was like, you know what? You got to go. So Lionel's just, you know, a convenient, um, fun time. But yeah. do you think that's why she drew? I'm a little confused as to why she did that. I, how, that's not how you win your ex's no, heart. No, I, I okay. How, okay, how long is your hand I, right now? <laughs> go, go, ga- oh, go, go, gadget figure. <laughs> um, no, I, here's what I think. I think what she's trying to do is make Pete look bad in front of Asha. Because every time Pete has been... Um, put in a compromising position. Oh, she's, she's to had the something rescue. To do with, or to the rescue. Or she kind of on the back end was instrumental in making that happen. So, okay, he's been drinking. Why did Asha show up at the hotel? He's drinking. They're in the, they're in the right, elevator. Yeah. The look. Strike one. Yeah, the look. oh, you could tell. The look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then trying to make Asha, you know, be the, the, the publicist for her and Derek. You know, you right. didn't have a coming out and this isn't that. Let me take you under my wing. Nudge, nudge. Man, she's drama. Shade. Shade. I, I can't believe we didn't see it coming, though. I didn't even realize. I, I was like, you know what? Maybe she's. Well, yeah, she is kind of like a Yelena character, probably back in her day. So mm-hmm. it's like. Yep. Something she was always scheming, even an though. Actress. Well, I yeah. mean, I knew she was gonna be shady. How about this? I knew she was gonna be shady, but I didn't shady. think towards Pete. Obviously, it's manipulating him into her direction, yeah, but right. I didn't think she would go like that. Because you thought she genuinely loved him still. You yeah. from from her arrival this season. Every episode has been her, you know, pining for Pete. Oh, I still love you, Pete. Telling Sloane, you know, get off the court or, you know, the girl. Right. So you think that she would have his best interest at heart, but she's an actress. She knows how to Honey play the role. Honey, gotta come first. Yeah. You she know totally what I'm saying? Fell, it, totally, it totally fell right into it. Yeah. I mean, oh, I'm sure he's a man. Okay. Hey. Yes, I say, here's the thing. Love he's you, love you, but, you know, <laughs> Pete's a dude and he's a little bit of a doofus when it comes to women. Place. Obviously. Yeah. Man, right. what happened? And did you guys really think when Asha came in there and said, okay, me or alcohol you really thought he was gonna 
be able to stick to that? Well, I love what, first of all, that scene for me was like very poignant and pivotal because Asha, we're seeing Asha take on this whole, okay, last season she was a new, I'm a devil girl. Oh my gosh. Uh, 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 now she's like, I'm a devil girl. I got extensions. I'm bomb. You know? <laughs> and so for her to, for her to have that kind of, um, you know, ultimatum, was very powerful for her. And the way she did it, it was very dry. It's just like, listen, I can go 22 years without yes. you, homie. Yes, you can did it once, rocks, I you know? can do yes. it again. You know what I'm saying? I am young, hip, and sexy. I don't need you. Black don't crack. I will look this good for a long right? time. <laughs> and she, look, in the, and her character is Asian. On top of that, she's going to be like porcelain for she's, years. She's a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> she's a mortal dead. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's starting to have like that control. She sees right. like yeah, she, she, right. she wants to make everybody have this great life together. You got her father, her mother, and then I don't. I thought she had somewhat control, and for Pete to even for a second be like, you know what, I am gonna do that, and then it's for like two point two yeah. seconds. But can we can we just go back to happen. last week's episode though, where you know we get a glimpse of how much being a devil girl means. We know that Asha's life right now is being a devil girl, but for her to really put. Um, Derek and be like, listen, don't screw up my career. Like, right. this, you know, it was just like, okay, she's really like got some. She, she grew so, grew a pair quickly, and I, I want to see more of that from her. I want. Right. I mean, I want to see her get downright feisty and dirty now. Oh, but she's right. here's the thing. What did you guys think about her now transforming because she is becoming that devil girl? And even Derek called her out, like, dude, what are you doing? That's you know, trying you. to be sl yeah. trying to be slick. First of all, when she gave her speech to Kyle, I'm surprised Kyle hasn't said anything yet to her but right what were the stages of taking somebody down yeah. i didn't write them down uh, but i know it was something about like sit back watch her point you That's know right. find mm -hmm. their moment of weakness exactly uh this that and whatever and she really thought she was doing that too yeah, she, but it was too easy the ip address they don't know about the ip address i well, do you know what the ip address no is? what mark what's the ip address you don't know what the, you, no, you can I tell don't. what computer it's coming from oh, whether yeah. like, you change the change the email yeah that's fine yeah but it was coming from obviously oh it was coming from her computer with a Logan's. fake email address not yeah. logan excuse um, me taylor's taylor i mean um, no asha. Not the, asha. Asha. <laughs> like what asha. thank you no. for jason no. j carter right right <laughs> asha. we hired him for a reason um okay let's do a sidebar this german um he disappears like he's like a ninja. German disappears in, in scenes. You're just like, dude, really? Like, he looked f fabulous in that three piece suit tonight. But I'm just like, okay, you're the coach's assistant. You're you're a janitor now. Like, who are you now? Like, she just comes out of the blue. Hey, just want to let you, you know, know your dad's drunk again. Right. Hey, just want to let you know your dad missed something. Right. Again. Yeah, it was pretty convenient. This guy dies on, hey, by the way, your dad's in the, in the alley outside. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> like, I don't know where he appears. And then, and and also is i mean okay we saw last week's episode not sorry after buzz but i'm tying it all in where he basically told asha like look home I'm, I'm sorry guys look girl <laughs> Look, yes, how, look, do you really feel? how do I really feel look you know we're done like me and you are over so are we getting the sense that Asha may have feelings for him still oh Absolutely. yeah because I was kind of questioning I was like is she trying to be a friend you know because people no. it's hard to cut the cord no yeah. it's Absolutely. like when you not that she's not in love with Derek right but it's one of those things when you let somebody go and then they're gone and you go oh, oh damn. dang because he was really down for her right. he was mm -hmm. so supportive of exactly. her and she pretty much screwed him and over said, like I'm gonna be a Deborah girl but I mean can we I mean okay have we seen Derek though? I mean, body karate, like ping, pow, pets, everything. Yeah. I mean, I would jump ship for Derek. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a wrap. <laughs> never a dull moment with this guy. No, is it? never. But I, like, but I do think that as far as Asha goes and her plotting Yelena's downfall or whatever, I do think it's it's fun to watch. It's Absolutely. definitely definitely great television. Just the thing that Yelena is just so one up. Always, oh, like, always, how are you three that? steps ahead? Please, Dude, please. She's a whole state ahead. Man. Yeah, well, that was the thing, too. It was like, did Yelena take credit for what Asha did? And then we found out later that it was... Yeah. Yeah, that she basically planned it for it Asha worked. to do that. It worked for her because here's the thing. You know, Zero's trying to get in the game right. You can't get one up on Yelena. You no. just can't. Don't mess with her. her. She's crazy. And, and yeah. he's over here with his, his ultimatum and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, God, he's really going to throw a game. And... It's just funny how everything worked in Yelena's in favor, favor from getting uh, that was her easy out right. from the relationship. Ship, sure. And then when she was on extra, I know. you know, I'm going through this and now everybody's feeling so sorry. And for she states girl. that she's like, do you like how I made everyone love me? Yeah, even more. Uh -huh. And then she opens the door for him and was like, bye, Felicia. It's all like, you know, you can go. But I will say 
one of the, the only thing I, that was unbelievable for me is how like all of a sudden there's a there's a flat tire and then Asher walks up right and afterwards like, with the, with you know the she, iPad. You like, know she did that with her foot. That's how she popped it. Boom with the heel. Yeah, it was like, that's how she shimmied the lock open. Oh, she didn't even have to do that. That's the thing too. She, like Elena just left the door open, right? Unlocked. And of course, like, Asher's in know. a bush somewhere. Uh, yeah, she was <laughs> hiding behind. Like, <laughs> And then German shows up like, Poof, what are you doing? <laughs> right. <laughs> By the way, your dad's drunk. <laughs> right. I just want to let you know. And then, you know, so, okay, Asha and Elena, we can talk about those two for forever, but I'm loving this um, whole um, dynamic duo of Raquel and Sloane. Yeah, they're yeah. becoming a huge part of this Dynamic series. duo. That, yeah, we'd never realize yeah. that they were going to do that. Like, just so intense and doing their homework and, like, highlighting stuff and, <laughs> right. like, secret phone calls, like, Blue 25, Blue 26, you know, Pound like this, 22. Yeah, this, this codes and stuff. But I do think that I want to see something has to evolve from this whole Sloan Raquel yeah, thing. Yeah, it's, it's starting to get drag. little. It's yeah, like, right, yeah, they need okay. to come across something because it's star- like you said, it's a little bit stagnant as yeah. far as that's going. Um, but as far as Jude coming in, right, and he's walking in here, I'm thinking, I'm sorry, but this guy is not believable to me as far as being a tough guy and being right. s- smart enough. Sorry, love you. But being smart enough to be able to take somebody else down and he's like, I don't know, I just feel like the epitome of a guy walking with his chest puffed out. You know, at the mm-hmm. very beginning of the episode, right. like, I know what you're doing. You're going to give me this information. Right. Like, Please, dude. You're well, not it's, still, it's still kind of like lear- learning Thank the ropes. You. And you know what? That's a lot of times in television or movies, the one person that you think's not doing anything or the that's one that's true. naive. It's like, eh, he's boom. like the Shocker. mastermind. Yeah, yeah. He's probably the one who wrote all the letters with all the envelopes. Mm-hmm. He's making everybody squirm. Right. Right. Write well, that down. That's actually you know, but, okay, so my prediction. Jude, Jude and Rock, um, Rock, Jude, Rock, that 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 trifecta, that love triangle. There. First of all, okay, really, Raquel, you just happened to break into the dude's house. No alarm. No alarm. He's rich, but no and, alarm. In Beverly Hills, and then. Like, you know, conveniently, there's a rag that you just wrap your hand. I mean, who does that work for? <laughs> Let me try that. You'll see me on the 6 o'clock news. Black man in, you know, or wherever in Hollywood. <laughs> gets, right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That doesn't work. But um, I do want, I, I kind of really want to know what is, what what's being, who... Who's hiding? What, what, like, what are the secrets? You know, they have to divulge. Are they that the, big that it's that, worth exactly going through all the trouble? To take down Oscar, who's building this with dirty money, this new arena, and this is not like, what is the end all be all? What are we going to uncover? What are we going to discover? You know, that's mm-hmm. why I want to know because f- f- last week we found out that Sloan was a crackhead. Or right, right, heroin, yeah, right, right. Know, no, we already know? knew that. That was last season. Yeah, yeah. So, We've known. You're late, yeah, you're late. We just haven't seen it. Right. But so it's just like, what what are we what are they searching for? Are they trying to figure out who killed Olivia? I'm trying to figure out yeah, who, who killed, killed her, Olivia, and then who also Mia. right, and why they're all connected, and why does she have all this dirt on every single yeah. person? Because yeah. we saw you know everybody get the uh, envelopes before, and now we're starting to see that they're realizing that oh Jude must have got one too, right? Pound so, twenty two, yeah, pound twenty two. So now he's getting coke for you know uh, did, yeah. that was that bad. He's getting coke for Derek. Okay, cool. You know th- he got coke for zero. Yeah, I mean I wanted him to be, but. We'll talk about oh, the big, the the the, the big oh, yeah, reveal, yeah, 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 yeah. which I thoroughly enjoyed. <laughs> You're shrinking, by the way, as the show goes on. No, I'm actually just getting bigger. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. You're so um, buff. <laughs> yeah. So, um, um. Well, okay. So, Kyle. Yeah, that was so random. So random. I, something is going to happen. Here's the thing. I know when you were watching it, you were like, okay, is this a filler? What's going on? It is, but it's not. I right. think that it's showing her involvement, as we saw with. Oscar and my prediction you guys weren't here for my prediction but I think what it is is Oscar slowly manipulating her without her knowledge because yeah, she thinks right. she's playing the game yeah, too, right. to be positioned to be the next Mia I, the, all it takes because he knows girl. that money motivates her right. right so if he can get her to a position where she's living the life and she's like yeah it's like inch by inch I'm gonna make you go a little bit past your boundary just a little just a little and the next thing you know he's pimping her out right yeah, like I mean, he, she has slept with people for money before, if you will. It wasn't an outright deal, but, but now it was it's like a business yeah. transaction. Exactly. Now it's like I have you. You know, yes. you're you're my property. I exactly. Can do and by playing on her weaknesses, she loves money. But I just feel like some of the scenes where they show her, it's I don't know. They're just they're kind of they're not. I wouldn't say filler. I would say they're just a little campy. Like okay, you know, she's this beautiful girl. She's talented. She has this accent. It's like oh, it's cute, but. It's, it just you have this intense scene where we're, fi- we're finding things out about who died and and then you go to this where she's at the derby with horses really <laughs> yeah, i mean it just it's just a glimpse in her lifestyle and i mean 
Yeah, exactly it's what you relief. said. As far, yeah. yeah, I think it's just like I said, I think it's building to something bigger. It's just starting really light. So we think, oh, haha, it's funny. And then before you know it, bam, like just something is going to go down from this situation. That's yeah. what I think is going to happen. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, the whole zero. You, well, we did cover that. Okay, let's go into let's go into Jude just a little bit. Yes, Jude. 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 Because, you know, he's team zero. Right. He is. You know, and I thought, well, first of all, you know, he zero gives the Porsche, Porsche random. I thought that was already weird in, in sketch because I thought Zero's going to want him to do something. Something PR related or something. You don't just give someone a Porsche and be like, hey, you've you're been welcome. on my right. yeah, you've been on my side since day one and I know you're gonna continue. I felt like a proposition was gonna be coming soon. Sure. But yeah. then when everything flipped around yeah, I mean, let's talk about it. Who yeah. cares? I, like, well, yeah. I thought it was great television, ladies and gentlemen. I was, <laughs> it was everything. It, it was, was interesting to see. Uh, well, first, Zero to say that, like, you know, the whole God thing was all just a, a joke. Yeah. Like, a joke right. Not a joke, but like a, a front, yeah. which we kind of probably kind of knew, but knew before. Yeah, right, just said. Yeah, and then we see him at a low point. You know, I thought he was kind of the one manipulating every single person around him, which he kind of does. But then to see Yelena she like, totally him. Just pull worked the rug him. out. Yeah, because even in the scene, okay, in the limo, when he was having his moment before the big whatever, he had that, oh, my God, my life is going to shams. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, oh, and God. I thought he, looked like he was crying. It was, yeah. That whole scene it's was so too intimate. It was very, it was vulnerable. It was very like, whoa, this is not, this is beyond a bromance here. There's yeah. A, there, you know, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting very West Hollywood here right now. What's going on? But um, I always thought Jude might have played for the other team. Really? Yes. Because he never, he never. First of all, he, he's never struck me as, I don't know, a womanizer. Like, uh, he's yeah. never hit on anybody or no. looked like he even he's had all, an attraction he's to been anybody. Very beige. He's been very like just you know whatever. Like I, my dad, I have daddy issues. Right? Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. So you never ever saw him try to like pick up on. And even with Raquel, when remember he's trying to be like, I can help you, I can save you. That wasn't a sexual. No, that not was more at of all. a business transaction. Yeah. she's hot. I mean, come on. If even I with Lionel too, you right. do the same thing. He would, yeah. He he was into dudes. Yeah. And Zero's sexy. Yeah. And so they're in a limo. Zero's being vulnerable, vulnerable and, and needing that, that comfort, that security, and boom, there's Jude. And it was just a very heated moment. And but that, is, is it? Is, he needs that comfort. He needs something. Do you think that's why? You think Jude was, you know, he's saying the same thing. He's not gay. It yeah, did he? In a weird way. Zero or Jude? Zero. It's, it's flattering. Okay. I mean, not that I would be inviting of another female to come kiss me, but it, it's when you can get someone from the opposite sex, same sex. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, to like, right, exactly. you know, it's like, oh, it's like, well, dang. I got game. Yeah. Wow, yeah, okay. Boom. But but when you're at a low point, I don't know, something about that kiss, it wasn't like your natural instinct for a straight dude. If another dude came at you and, and planted one on you, most people like, would be like, whoa, up. whoa, right. whoa. Right, and yeah. his was, there was a, like I, a few seconds, like he's just, I thought just, there oh, might have been a oh. tongue involved, maybe? No, little, I didn't like see a, tongue, but there was a replay. little. A there was, slip of the tongue? No, there was, <laughs> but there was definitely a delayed reaction. Right, it was, and it was, you're gay. I'm the, not gay. Right. It's like they're both. It's like Brokeback Mountain. Exactly. It's exactly totally. what it there, is. There was. There was. I mean, as a gay male, I'm trained to know when there's chemistry between other gay men, and there was. <laughs> yeah, and you kept rewinding it. So right. There was. <laughs> there was. There was a slight tinge after buzzers of chemistry between the two. Yeah. No. For sure, absolutely. For sure. So I, I thought it was very sexy. I thought it was hot. I thought it was a great. I thought it wasn't. It wasn't um, inappropriate. It wasn't distasteful. No. It was like really. Like it was, it was, it was par for the course. It was right on point with with all the the heightened um, emotion that was going on with the show. Right, right. By far one of the best hit the floors I've seen in the, in the two and a half seasons because there's so much that was revealed tonight. Yeah, right, for sure. right. And it was like a great start of an arc that's going to happen into the next episodes. And right. so you have like like from Jude's perspective, you have you know Zero who maybe he thought he was coming on to him and he wants you know he's he's his agent now and he was doing everything you know Zero just did this big thing for him to make him his agent and oh, maybe yeah, he thought that, that like that's what what Zero wanted, and then that's why he did it. Right. I mean, because really, who gives who a Porsche? Right. Right. That so he's was just totally like, misleading. you know, I thought it could, it could totally be, it could work, it could be like blackmail for Jude now. You yeah. Know? It, double yeah. blackmail, because Sloan and, because, um, Rock Sloan, Raquel and Sloan, that's yeah. the name together. <laughs> Raccoon, just kidding. You know, <laughs> they, they've got, you know, they've got the upper hand on yeah. Jude, or yeah. they're at a, they're at an even playing field, and right. now you have Zero, who may, not recover from this detrimental um, exposure, you know, right. of, his, of his of him being fraudulent. Or whatever. But what do you think that really was, though? Because he, when he went to talk to Yelena, he had, he referenced, so he knows who this Kelly chick is. Did he have involvement with her? Maybe not to that level, but some sort of involvement. Wait, 
Hold, please. At the beginning of this season, before he was with Elena, he was with Call Girls. Right. Do you guys remember that? Yes. So this is true. In essence, everything is true. He's just wondering how the heck. Mm-hmm. But see, here's the thing about Elena and him, though. She is so stuck on boy. Uh, on Terrence. On Terrence. And like, the, Yelena. It's hard to cut the cord. Right. Yeah. The, villain, the villain is always the most complex character out of everyone because they require the most to be the villain right right so you see these like yelena with the interview with extra was you see these bouts of of her a glimpse into her how she truly feels but she has this hard really briny scathing exterior that prevents her from being you know vulnerable right and so it's just like when zero zero honestly loved her and he's fly so yeah. like i don't understand why there's no chemistry there but i what i still don't get is why she's got chemistry with terrence though he, they're so different like even yeah. he's, he's her better one, half i mean it's like her, her and zero yang, are like the, her yeah because her and zero are like the same person trying right. to always manipulate but that's the thing everybody. too is i think zero is slightly that way i think he's really trying in order to impress her and i don't know maybe he did some sort of homework on yelena and that's why because he even said something about knowing who she really is and right. trying to get her off sure. by manipulating other people and doing all these scandalous exactly. things but obviously he's not as good at it as she is of course not so maybe he's not really a veteran you but know? here's the thing though with yelena i what, what i'm gathering could possibly happen is that she does take the fall and someone does one up her and it's big and it's it's yeah eventually you know because Something she has she to. she's too bold for her own good she's too fearless she's right. too um come on she just told the dude like i i played you for all of america get out of my apartment here's the door you know, or the monologue she has with every with or the monologue she has with Asha all the time are always so catty and biting right. and very like bitchy and just like very direct and pointed. So it's just like someone has to really do her in to to get her. And when they do finally it's do gonna, her, it's gonna be huge. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. like a, that's like the, the season finale there. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. I mean we thought we were gonna get a glimpse we got a glimpse into that with right. Asha, you know, the last episode. But I um, still think her demeanor is different. You know, even though she's still doing these scandalous things, it's like season one, she was ruthless and right. she didn't care. Like right. nothing it was, was going all wrong. over her face. Yeah. This time around, even though she's she's like on the low ruthless. Do right. you know what I mean? Like when her and Asha have their little bouts with each other, she's so calm and cool and collected. It's Not affirmed. that she wasn't before, but something about her is just her energy is different. I think, but also this season, though, we find out that her mom was abused. That's true. So that's why she has it. It, uh, it all makes sense. She hates. She doesn't hate men, but she views men as the enemy because of what happened to her mom. That right. scarred her. Right. You know, and you're and you're, you're right. She does have a different demeanor because now she is internally dealing with all these things that are beyond the Denver girls, that are beyond, you know, True. her being the, the captor or whatever. She has her own life to deal with. Yeah, her, her world's falling, falling apart. apart. Yeah. And she's trying to hold it together as best as she can. And she's doing a fantastic job. But, you know, there's going to be that one strike that's going to just make her castle come, 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 you know, to pieces. And we're getting closer to that. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and Elena, believe it or not, she's not that unlikable. I oh, know. I think I actually I I enjoy her. Right. Well, and she. It seems like we get a glimpse into her seeing that maybe she doesn't want to be like this forever. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that's not who she. I mean, she. It's almost who she has to be. Through Terrence, though. Right. She wants. She wants. Yeah. She needs. She needs to be validated. Her existence needs to be validated as far as her emotionally through Terrence. Mm-hmm. But Terrence ain't having it. Yeah. But okay. How about this? I feel like there's so many things she wants to do internally. She just externally cannot bring herself to, to do, do especially with him. And when she showed up in that fabulous jet, by the way, everybody looked on point mm-hmm. at that For moment. At, at 5 a.m. Right, with the wind blowing and all this stuff. But they looked Smoke, put the other... you know, weaves done. Right. Lashes, boom. <laughs> Eight pair. Louboutins, work. But either way, she shows up and, and you know, we feel like she's going to give the I miss you or have a great trip or whatever and I feel like her motive might have been to do that and as soon as she sees him because here's the thing even though Terrence is like I'm done with you there's something about the way he looks at her and the way she looks at him that there is still that connection it's called chemistry yeah there is Mm -hmm. and so for that moment I feel like she might have thought I'm here to warn you because that's all she knows how to do is just protect herself exactly exactly and that's she's a tough cookie to crack and then you have asha here who's learning how to be that way who was always open and always so innocent and so girl you know next door now she's she's assimilating and and acquiescing to become this devil girl personality that her mom warned her about right and her mom said so i mean and it's like a vortex it wasn't like you know it's just overnight transformation and right I think Asha's demeanor is a lot different now too. But oh, I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. It as well. At what point is for Asha? Do you like run for the hills? Like, okay, maybe this isn't for me. Right. She, well, it's, it's too late. She well, can't. here's the thing: 
It's one thing when Derek Roman calls you out for your behavior. Right. Yeah. What? Here's a question. Oh, I'm stuck. That's a question mark. Who is who should, who should Asha be more worried about? Derek or her father? Her father. I think Derek 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 Derek's not that's the least more worried. Yeah, I think Derek was a party party person when it came to doing the cocaine. I think when he was lonely and miserable and all that other stuff, right. it was more of his companion then. But now mm-hmm. that he's in a different direction in his life and he's got Asha, it's not, it's the whatever. The mommy issues aren't there It's right not now. as bad. And when it when the mommy came back, that's when the issues and the cocaine came back. Came She's out. gone. She's gone. And he saw what happened. Even though he downplayed Asha going to jail and blah, 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 I'm sure he knows that, that so ain't going to happen again. that's done? That's it? Oh, Yeah. I think he's done with that. I think that we're just now starting to see an unraveling of Pete. He's not going to get it together. Well, hello. He was well, he was roofied, and then but in the, that's we, what Sloan said too. You know, Sloan yeah. said, "Hey, yeah, yeah." It's just this is the beginning. I, it's the beginning. But I, we need that though because but, for a while there, the only thing we had on Pete was that you know he was Asha's dad and just playing yeah. every that was it. And, 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 Everybody, I think all the characters at this point are now becoming so much more involved. Yeah. This is not the Asha show anymore. This is truly True. everyone's yeah, show. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fantastic drama. The writing mm-hmm. is becoming more involved and very diverse and very complex. And that's what you need with a show like this, because honestly from, you know, it's cheerleaders, it's dancers, it's pretty girls. People don't want, people normally don't give that type of, um, branding any kind of clout. Oh, it's right. just another show. But this show, the right. writing is is so good, and right. also the the quality of of actors on right. the show are fantastic. Oh my gosh. I mean, you have yeah. some better heavy. I mean, come on, Dean Kane, right. and then you have Kimberly Elise. I mean, these are just and then Joey Leno Keith. These are people who are Don fanta- Stark, b- b- fantastic <clears throat> actors, and I mean actors. I don't do as actresses or actors that are able to bring this show live. And also, what I will give give VH1 and James LaRose and them props on is the interracial um, relationships in this show. I think that's what's needed on TV. Then there needs to be more of that because that's how true life is it's not oh, yeah. it's not perfect it's everyone it's different walks of life coexisting together in love having children doing their thing and it looks fabulous on this show kudos y'all hey, hey. to the men yeah, with that sure. said though unfortunately we are running short on time so let's just jump into our news and gossip boom bam don't for, let's not forget about the dance shortly too we should okay. probably talk about that well, too okay why don't we talk about that briefly while the first picture is getting pulled up because there was you know we always like to talk about the dance they i love that they're always featuring the dance the yeah. girls look fabulous yeah, I think they captured this one like it seemed like each episode they're getting better and better right. and better right. as far as like capturing it the girls look great the dance looked awesome it did very good yes i loved yes. it loved it, loved it. great music great Michael um, Rooney, can amazing. we get our first picture up please sir each episode y'all know i like to focus on somebody so i came across this and you think whoa pictures are moving way too fast sorry uh you see queen george and i think of this next picture which you already got a sneak peek of our next photo sir would be this boy george that's my thought right but actually what queen george is next photo please oh sometimes the king is a woman sorry let's go to our next picture this lovely lady, Jody Lynn O'Keefe, a woman of many talents who's been acting for years and years, and also obviously a drama queen by this picture. And if you can't see the picture, that means you are not on YouTube. So go on YouTube and you can watch us. Well, not live, but, but you can you at know. least you can see, relive the see. moments. Yeah, exactly, with us. exactly, and see my pictures. Okay, next, please. She has her own clothing line. Ta-da! This is her hey. website. That's awesome. It's called Queen George. Everything has skulls and wings and so forth. Can we go to our next picture, please? I just wanted to feature some of her stuff because each and every one of these actors has an outside venue of artistry, and I always like to showcase it because they're so talented. Next picture, please. And she has jewelry. She also has, it's called Q Jewelry. Um, it, it is very, uh, what do you call it, prestigious, if you will. Next picture, please. And this is the winged stuff that I was talking about. Not stuff, sorry, that was so rude. Uh, next picture. Uh, oh, and I like this one. This is a little S jewelry. I'm pretty sure you can look online and you can purchase some of this jewelry if you want to check it out. Next, next slide if I have any more. That's it. That's it. Okay, cool. Awesome. So the plan is, and I don't mean to hype you guys up, but we are trying to get Jody on on the show. I know yes. she's really excited and would Jody. love to. She's out of town right now, and then she's got family, all that stuff. But we're going to get her on the show along with everybody else. So with that said... Let's go into our predictions. Yeah, let's do yeah. it. <clears throat> so let's just pretend the uh, audio okay. is hey. working. Hey. Jason, go ahead and do a Having beatbox for me. Predictions? predictions. Okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. All right. Go. Predictions. 
So I already made my prediction for Kyle. I think something big is going down. Um, German, we saw a little action between German and Asha. Well, we didn't see the action. We heard Derek talk about the right. action as far as like, yo, what's going on? And she said something like, well, German's Coke didn't end up in my purse. I'm like, slam. Yeah. That so, was, mm-hmm. yeah, I think there is going to be intermingling back and forth, debating of whether or not she wants to be with German, whether or not he'll take her back. I mean, she's hot. You can't, you can't deny that that chocolate goddess there. I mean, can you? <laughs> I don't know. Can you? I predict. I predict. I predict, <laughs> I predict, I have, I predict that Pete's gonna. It's gonna go deep with his drinking. Oh, absolutely. I do predict that um, uh, Lionel is the real villain. Ooh, yeah. And wouldn't it be cool if Salone hmm. actually did decide to pull him out of his? Binge, if you will. And yeah. I also predict that um, the gay um, mingling of Zero and Jude is going to end? Or no, no. It's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's about to, the, the Pandora's box has been opened. Yeah. I okay. agree. Yeah. I agree. That's All it. right. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Go. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> thank you wrote. so much for think. joining us this evening. Thank you to our brand new Hi. Jason. Hey. hey, you guys. You can follow me on Twitter at oh, okay. JJC Forever. And also hit me up on Instagram at the Jason J. Carter. I'll see you guys next week. That's right, and I am Mark Rodriguez. You can find me, Mark Rodriguez TV, everywhere. What about you? I'm Ali Kona Bradford. You can find me at Kiss My Passport or on my website, alikonabradford.wix, W-I-X.com, backslash television host. Oh, my Thank God. Thank you yeah. so much. It was a mouthful. <laughs> if you like my page, I can like you back. back. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Shit. So, again, with the uh, technical difficulties, we don't actually have any uh, audio right now. So, just, you know, pretend the credits and the that display. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. we'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. Buzz yeah. you later. Thank you for watching After Buzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here. And be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.